What's going on guys, this is Wyatt Murray Outdoors and today we're going to be talking about hound hunting um, and why it's ethical. There's a good amount of misconceptions out there and a lot of people saying that hound hunting is uh, unethical, gives hunters too much of an advantage, um, etc. And honestly, I think it's just uneducated people who don't understand hound hunting, who have never actually experienced hound hunting, um, that are really just throwing these blanket statements out there. Um, to try to sway things their way. Um, so we're gonna get into it and we're gonna the first thing we're gonna talk about is tracking. So tracking doesn't mean just driving, um, you know, which is pretty much when the dogs are out, they're trailing an animal and, they're, and then they are driving that animal um, you know where to the hunter or whatever. Now when they're used for tracking, you know, if I'm deer hunting, uh, for instance, and there is actually, the bill out there right now to stop dogs, uh, dog hunting for deer here in California. And this is one of the disadvantages to that. If you're a hunter and you shoot a deer and you aren't able to down it in that one shot and it runs off, you are then able to throw your hounds on it and find that deer. That deer is going to die, might die five yards from where it got shot, a hundred yards, might die a mile from where it got shot. But wherever it's gone, those hounds are going to be able to track it, find it, and bring you to your kill. So what is that reducing? Well, that's reducing waste, uh, waste of death on wildlife pretty much. If you shoot an animal, and again, I've done this before. Every hunter in their life, I swear to God, has lost an animal at some point in their life that they know they've shot. Um, it's just the way things go. Sometimes our shots aren't as clean as we'd like them to be. And those animals are able to run off a long distance, especially on that adrenaline. And if you're not able to find them, you don't have the nose like a dog. So you're going off of sight, you're going off of blood trails. Um, and if you're not able to find them, your game's gone. You have a way better chance of finding the game with a dog. So besides tracking, finding your kill and stuff, um, and you know making sure that you do find it and not leave any, any animal wasted, that is one ethical way that hounds are being used. Another ethical way is this. So this really permits to bear hunting and mountain lion hunting um, and then also some other like bobcat hunting and stuff like that usually when you're bear hunting mountain lion hunting bobcat hunting lynx hunting those type of predators you're training an animal and so what is that what that is giving you the capability of doing is so when you tree that animal one these animals are elusive right especially the mountain lion and the bobcat very hard to find so when you really need to make a dent in their population or you know, just meet their quotas and stuff to keep that population at a st steady level, hounds are really helpful because they're able to find those elusive animals, they're able, able to brush them up and tree them up. Once those animals are treed, whether it be a bear, mountain lion, bobcat, whatever, you know, we're looking at this from a conservation and management uh, perspective. So we want you know, mature males um, that are past their prime, maybe even mature females that are just past their prime and not giving off good offspring, um, and we're leaving the young ones, the growing ones alone, and we're given a chance for that, right? Um, where you're able to actually get the animal up in the tree, look at it for a bit, sex it, age it, etc. and if you want to take that animal, you can take that animal. If not, you guys just, you just take the dogs off of the tree, get out of there, and in the meantime, the animal will come down and leave. Now, one people, one other thing people say is that it gives hunters an unfair advantage. Now this I totally disagree with as someone who hunts with hounds a lot. When you are hunting with hounds, unless it's bear, mountain lion, bobcat, um, or raccoon, the other animals are not getting treed. So when you're talking about rabbit, you're talking about deer, um, you're talking about other small game, those are not being treed. Those are running and they are running fast. Um, you know, on our deer hunts, when the dogs do brush one up, that deer is at full speed, running as fast as it can. And you have to take a shot on that. And not only take a shot on it, but you have to watch out for your dogs, and you have to watch out for the stand men and any other brush breakers that are running the dogs with you. So it's a very narrow shot window, and it is a very tough shot. And it makes it way harder to take deer, um, in my opinion. You know, and that's that's just the way it is. If you, if me, I'm glassing stuff. 
I can, if I got my rifle and I'm glassing, I could sit 300 yards away, 500 yards away, 150 yards away, you know, some long distances with the amount of technology that we have, and I can just blast that deer. Okay, that is not, that is more unethical in my view than running it up and it having a fighting chance and a running chance to get out of there. Now, when you, people also talk about this, brushing up animals and stuff, they talk about the stress put upon the animal. Now, this animal is not experiencing any more stress than it were to if it was being chased by a pack of coyotes, by one coyote, you know, whatever. These animals are used to this type of stress, predatory stress, predatory um, pressure. This is something they deal with every day. Um, and bringing that as an argument really, um, I, I think, has no, uh, has no hold because we also have seasons. So these animals aren't constantly being ran by hounds all the time. And I can tell you this, when animals are getting run by hounds, they don't like to be there. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, you get a few hound hunts in an area, and then you got to go for a bit. You got to let it cool down. You cannot hound hunt an area every day. Animals don't like it. You know, they respond to predatory pressures. They're going to move out of the area. And that kind of moves into our next subject. If we had hound hunting here in California, We've had a large spike of mountain lion encounters lately. We have a large spike of deprivation permits being put in, etc. And as you know, mountain lion hunting has been banned since 1990s. So we've had a good, a little over a decade of no hunting on mountain lions, no dog hunting on mountain lions, etc. Now, the Department of Fish and Game still uses hounds to catch problematic mountain lions um, on deprivation permits. That is allowed. And I believe that if we allowed hound coursing minimum, but I believe we should bring back mountain lion hunting in general. But how coursing minimum, it would actually reduce the amount of mountain lion encounters and attacks that we have in the state. Why? These mountain lions know that nobody can do anything to them. Animals are very smart. They understand hunting season and stuff like that. They don't understand reading in the book and stuff, but they understand when more predatory pressure is upon them during certain times of the year. Um, and that goes, same thing with the deer. When we run deer, if I run up, if my dogs run up on a group of does and a buck, the buck runs. The dogs go after the buck. The does don't even give a shit. I've, I have walked a foot up to a doe and stuff before they run. They understand that they are not being hunted by humans, by dogs. They understand that the only predators they have to worry about are mountain lions, coyotes, etc. They learn this stuff. They're not stupid. You know what I mean? And so wherever my, uh, my uh, thought was going with mountain lions, what it would be doing would be teaching these mountain lions to fear humans and fear dogs. Um, there's actually a biologist up in Washington. If you guys listen to this uh, Song of the Hounds podcast, he's actually doing a study on this. Um, the data hasn't come up yet and everything, but I really agree with his theory uh, because I've really seen that in practice. If you hunt... If you hound hunt an area too much, these animals are going to move out of the area. These animals are going to learn to avoid those hounds, avoid you, etc. So, in all, I believe hound hunting is more ethical and actually something more people should do. Um, and it would better, and, you know, it helps with uh, wildlife management. It's really a tool of wildlife management. It's not unethical and it really should not be frowned upon. If you don't like to hunt with dogs, you don't like to hunt with dogs. But I guarantee you, once you get on a hound hunt, you're going to be hooked for life, and you're going to love them. So that's my video spiel. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are hound hunters, keep going at it. Keep the tradition going. If you guys aren't hound hunters but are interested, get into hound hunting. Go get yourself a hound, and I promise you it's going to change your life. Until next time, this is Wyatt the Marine Outdoors. See you later.